Military dog tags are synonymous with a soldier's service. This year, volunteers with the group Veterans Athletes United stitched 7,000 dog tags into a flag. Each tag bears the name of a soldier who died in the global war on terror. Fox 5's photojournalist Jesse Burkett Hall shows us the memorial display right now at the Lincoln Memorial. How you doing, sir? It takes about an hour and a half to, to put together. I'm sorry to hear that, man. There's eight sections, you know, just kind of breaks down. And the frame, you know, it's pretty solid. My dad was in Vietnam, too. My grandfather was a gliderman in World War II. I went into the military. I served most of my time with the 82nd Airborne. I'm James Howard. N nice to meet you. A lot of names. 7,040 to be exact. Christopher Stone Cipher. Stephen Hutchinson. Evander Andrews is down here. The Global War on Terror. Yeah, so since September... 11, 2001. Yeah. LaRon Wilson, his mother said the one thing he always wanted to do was serve his country, and he did that with honor. All those that have died in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, all the different operations. Yeah, I served in Iraq. It's, it's powerful, powerful stuff. This is our uh, Fallen Heroes Memorial. Veterans and Athletes United is our nonprofit. It's an all volunteer nonprofit run by veterans. There's names of uh, friends, comrades, veterans, uh, people who have fought and died for our nation that I know personally. They're on this wall. I spent four years trying to plan it, and figure out how to lay out the dog tags like this, things like that. Yeah, three three personal connections on this wall. It's Christopher Watts on the red section here, Justin Watt. Joy Graves, we lost on that second tour um, uh, to Iraq uh, between 05 and 06. Good man, and then Luke Woolenweaver, my son's named after him. We've been, uh, you know, very fortunate to travel it east of the Mississippi, basically. We're trying to find a couple of volunteers out west. Every dime goes directly towards Gold Star Families and the uh, Global War on Terror National Memorial Foundation. They hope to build a memorial here in eight years. So it's our collective commitment to be a better country, to be better as a people, to uh, you know have one thing that we can all unite underneath and to continue to, to be better as a country. And I hope we can all take that from this flag right here and, and what it costs to have that. A lot of good names on this flag. And we can never say this enough, but we do thank all the men and women for their service. Yes, and um, and for those who have given it all and made their the families, ultimate sacrifice. Um, and and what an incredible, an incredible memorial there. The seven thousand dog tags. Anybody who comes from a military family knows just how important and how symbolic those dog tags are. I know when my father retired from the military, he gave me his dog tags because um, he knew just how important you know they were and what they mean. Um, and so it, to see them lined it, you know, woven into that yeah. flag, um, into the fabric of our country and, and what they were fighting for is it's great. pretty amazing. It's great. All right. Well